What's up, you guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are at the Salt Creek Ranch with my buddy Jason Wallace. He's the operator here, uh, runs Alpha Outfitters. Man, I've been hunting for him for I've been hunting with him for about six years now, and we've been super close friends. We live uh, close uh, to each other back at at the other place. I'm not gonna say where I live, uh, but we kind of live close to each other, and we're always hanging out. We're always, you know, hunting together, and he's just an amazing guide. And Mr. Derek Wolf. If you don't know who Derek Wolf is, I can't believe what Derek Wolf has done since he's come back. He was suspended four games early on, and he was always known as a run player and a really top end one. And for some reason, now that he's back, he has become this. Go check him out. He uh, is a good friend of mine, uh, NFL player, won a Super Bowl with the Broncos, um, has played for. The Ravens, just a great overall dude. We've hunted together a couple of times. And he gave me a call and he said, hey man, I want to shoot a whitetail. And I was like, well, dang, let me see what I can make happen. And I called Jason, I was like, Jason, I got this favor to ask, brother. He's like, dude, come on down. Let's make it happen. Let's put Derek on a good freaking buck. And I'm going to be doing like a meat hunt on this trip, guys. I'm going to be trying to get uh, some deer uh, and whatever else we see. I'm trying to fill up the freezer. As you guys saw a few episodes ago, my nieces and nephews got to hunt and uh, it went great. You know, they got to put uh, meat on their freezers, but mine's empty. I'm running low. So this is what we're gonna do on this trip. We're gonna do a meat hunt. We're gonna put some stuff away and then whatever else uh, Jason needs help with. I know he mentioned that there's a couple of uh, all that use. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know what it is, it's a ram. Um, the problem with use are is that they reproduce so fast and then they can get out of hand. So you kind of got to manage the population. And that's another thing with us hunters, right? Conservation. You want to make sure that it's healthy, that you know you have uh, everything accessible to them so they can keep growing. But at some point they do get out of hand and there's a bunch of them. So you got to control the population. So we're going to be trying to do that as well. And just overall have fun, but make this trip about Derek and, and then uh, a little bit about us. So I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Guys, if you guys already haven't done so, like, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy this episode. Let's get it, baby. I'm going to go unpack. dry hand job. Yes. <laughs> Through the fans. <laughs> uh, all right, so you want to put a bet, see who drops something first? Yeah. Well, you're going to sit a feeder. I'm not sitting on a feeder, I'm spun stock. He's not making eye contact. <laughs> That's how I what? know it's hey, bullshit. Hey, you're what? ruining my, my Listen, bed over here. I'm, I'm staying neutral. Whatever. What are you hunting tonight? Uh, we're, we're going after uh, Ram, a Fort Horn sheep. Oh, the four horns. Yeah. Make the bet. Make the bet. Me? Make What's the bet? bet? What's the bet, though? I don't know. What Try to think about it. Yeah. All right, three. <laughs> Do you want to be hungover in the morning? No. <laughs> He's don't, alive. Don't make three the shots. Three don't make the bet. All right, three, three shots. shots. Back to back to back. Yeah. All right. All right, deal. Done. Let's go.
So, I've been out here like, what is it, the third time? I know the plan was to come out and hunt whitetail and all that use and everything else. But that big brown one, <coughs> I've been chasing that damn ram quite a few, like hunts now. And we weren't even looking for these and then all of a sudden, you know, we were kind of getting ready to go get set and they were sitting right by the water. So we got out of the buggy, started walking. We thought we were going to be able to come around and put a stock on them and shoot them at the pond. They started walking towards us. I didn't have a shot. That damn tree right there was blocking me. I could have taken it. I mean, it was probably 40, maybe, like cheap shot. <clears throat> but that tree was in my way. I, I didn't have a shot. So, damn it. He uh, gets away from us one more time. But now we're going to shift gears. We're going to try to find him again and put another stock on him and let an arrow fly. Damn it. All we need was 10 more feet. We walk forward 10 more feet. Dude, I need a three. I need a three there. feet. I'm sure I... you're about to take it. <sighs> Son of a bitch. I thought he was just gonna keep going straight. I thought straight so too. To it. That's it for day one. I mean, we got here with just a couple hours. Honestly, it wasn't much time. We uh, tried to go out there and make it happen. Like I said earlier, we had a way different plan. And then as soon as we saw those rams, Josh and I were like, bro, bro, let's go. And uh, as you guys saw, I mean, we, we were literally putting a stalk on them and then they started coming towards us and we couldn't jump into the brush fast enough. He was so close, he was like, 38 yards in front of me which is a cheap shot for me and i'm not trying to sound cocky or anything but i can make that shot all day every day with my bow the thing there was a branch there i couldn't see i couldn't freaking put the, the shot wasn't there and guys and i wasn't gonna like risk it or or you know let my ego get the best of me because sometimes we do that and i wasn't just gonna pull back to sh try to shoot through all that stuff because it wasn't gonna happen so they saw us they ran into the brush we try to come up with a game plan and kind of you know, follow tracks, see if we can kind of close the gap and maybe put a shot. Didn't happen. And, you know, it's okay. First day, and it's already jam-packed with action, so I can't ask for more. Hey, I'm a heart racing quite a bit, so um, it is what it is. We still have a couple of days to hunt. We're gonna go back in here, grab some dinner. I think they're making steaks tonight. Whew. And uh, just kind of sit back, you know, hang out, have some drinks, reset, go to sleep, and wake up in the morning and do it again. So. Uh, day one comes to a close. Boom. Well, it's day two. We're up bright and early. We're gonna try to go and make this happen. Uh, we're essentially coming up with a game plan right now. We're gonna try to see where they're at. We're gonna put a spot and stock on them and then, and then go from there. Honestly, we're just trying to make this happen. So we're gonna go like in real life. As soon as we spot them, whether it be up from the hill looking down, then we're gonna come up with a game plan on how to sneak up on them and get to them. And, and that's pretty much it. We're just trying to make it happen. We're trying to put something on the ground before Derek and his crew because, let's face it, I'm the better hunter. I'm just saying. You play football and oh, ooh, I hunt, bro. I'm just kidding, I love you. 
We're gonna go make it happen though. One of those so bad. Alright, so Derek just shot a deer. We're gonna go help him and try to find it. You guys know how it goes when you archery hunting. That deer took off. Um, we just loaded up the dog. We're gonna give these rams a little bit of break. They're uh, they're on to us. They know what's up. So we're gonna let them kind of hang out, do their own thing for a couple of hours, and then we're gonna circle back and try to get it done. But for now, we're loading up Nala. We're gonna go freaking try to see if we can help them find this deer because. You guys know the feeling when you shoot a buck and then you know you try to find it and you can't it's 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 it sucks so hopefully we can help them find it i know we will i mean derek's a good shot so I'm not even worried about that just wondering how far that deer went so let's go find it steak oh bobby Another 
Whatever. Hammer one. Yeah. Yeah. What, how'd it go? So we came up here and just started rattling. Uh huh. We had two, two oh, like <clears throat> 135s, 140s come down. I was like, ah, oh, they're just little. And then we were like getting ready to ready back to out again. Exactly and he like, yeah. I don't know if he heard him yeah. put the horns yeah. together, just like put them away. Yeah. But he jumped up this other big one. This the one I shot, he's like a big split brow tent. He, right jumped, he jumps up up here, comes down here, but he's, I get up by this cactus right here. Yeah. And I kept that decoy from me down on a knee. And he came in 30 yards. Front of, and I just I just slowly stood up and drew. And then I got the full draw and I was like this. And then I just waited, waited, waited. And then he like lifted his head up a little bit. And I was like, he was flat. Smacked him. <laughs> Smacked him. It was sticking. It went in here. It was sticking out right behind his shoulder. So I got at least one leg. Oh, yeah. And he limped, his, he limped all the way up there. He's bleeding good. Oh, yeah. You guys find good blood? Yeah, we found good blood over here. And then we didn't go in any further. But he... He went up over this hill, no, laid down once, and then got up. Okay, another day, another little saw, spike like pushed him again. Saw, he nice. got up and moved a little bit. We haven't seen him move since. Yeah. So. I, didn't get I was going to say, if we need to, we can run and get my four wheeler. Hey, man, what why are you screaming at us, buddy? Are you? <laughs> <coughs> because it's fun to scream. They've been giving us chances. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not really good chances. But yeah, there's always something. Tree wise. Three illegals <laughs> over there, and they're white, and this is brown man's land, so those are illegals.
there's a million excuses I can come up with, I miss. That's it. I mean, you know, I, I rushed the shot. I didn't think I was going to get, I didn't have enough time. I was scouting my head a little bit too much. I thought they were going to run super, like, right away. And uh, drew back, rushed the shot, missed. It was low. That's it. We're going to. We're gonna regroup. We're gonna have some lunch with the guys, and you know, kind of come up with another game plan, and then go go back out and get it done. I mean, that's how it goes, guys. It's, you guys know how hunting it is. We all miss. It is what it is. There's, like I said, I'm not gonna make any excuses. I miss. So I'm gonna go get some lunch. We're gonna regroup. We're gonna get back at it, and that's it. So, yep. We just put a 200 yard shot on him. We uh, put a stalk, came in. There's a herd of like blue wildebeest over here. We thought they didn't even see us. All of a sudden they come, they push them out. They run away and I'm like, golly. So we sat still, I mean, we stood still here for a little bit. And then they just started coming out through this little break right there. And um, I had them in my sights. Um, he gave me my, uh, my range is at 200 and I was dialed in and popped them. Um, honestly, like it's been crazy hunt. I mean, you guys have been seeing the footage so far. Uh, when we went back, I was checking my bow. My strings are a little jacked up. I'm gonna have to get my bow restrung. I'm not saying that's the reason I missed earlier. That was all me. Um, but my strings are pretty jacked up. So I decided to put the bow down. I don't want that shit exploding in my face or in someone else's face. So we put it down, picked up the rifle, and made it happen. I've been hunting this damn thing for like two years now. And finally put a shot on him. So we're giving him a little bit of time. Then we're going to go get him. And uh, we nicknamed him Meatloaf because he's big and brown. Looks like a meatloaf. So hopefully we can get over there and find him on the ground and <sighs> recover him. And then make some cabrito so get ready for this video because we're gonna have a cooking video as well but yeah let's go see if we can recover it and uh and then go see what uh jason and the other guys are up to and see if derek put another deer down i know they're gonna go back out and try it again so yeah but for now we got a shot on this damn thing and uh hopefully he's in the ground around the corner so let's go look
there, Sam? Yep. Ooh, on the road. Yeah, that's a fatty. Dude was a giant. That's a lot of. That's a lot of. I want to say that's a lot of fucking fur. That is a lot of fur. Bro, look how thick that is. This looks like uh, Derek's hair. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. Dude, nice. You, that 6.5 did some work. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's lung. Well. That is, that's a lot of lung. A lot of lung. That was all lung, so that was. Tell me when. Just do it. That wasn't very scary. <laughs> yeah. Because he doesn't have a mic. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tried more. to let one out, dude. Well, well, Why are you doing it to expect, that? So I didn't quite get it. <laughs> Well, guys, that is a wrap. We are done here. Kim and got what we needed to get done. Derek is actually staying back because he's uh, going to be chasing a bigger whitetail that they saw on the cameras, and he's all hyped, and I'm excited for him. Unfortunately, I got to get home. I got stuff to do. They're going to stay here, so hopefully they get it done, and when they get it done, you guys will be able to see it on his YouTube channel. We'll put the link and stuff down below so you guys can go check out Derek's channel. And uh, thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions. I would love to answer them. If you don't know what a four, a four horn sheep is, ask away and I will freaking answer you guys in the comments and, and let you know where they come from, all that good stuff. That's pretty cool. And they're great, great animals. We got them all loaded up. And now we're headed home and that's it. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Do me a favor, like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Until then, crispy on. Yeah.